A Broadway giant. Now dancing with the angel, Miss Cheetah Rivera. A Broadway legend honored in the city where she became a star. Tributes across New York tonight to remember Cheetah Rivera. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. Maurice is off tonight and we begin with the death of Broadway trailblazer Cheetah Rivera. Tonight, Harlem's Apollo Theater is paying tribute, putting her name on its marquee. And the cast of Chicago remembering her as one of their original cast members. CBS 2's Ali Bauman live outside the Ambassador Theater. Well, Christine, Cheetah Rivera set the bar for performers from the moment she stepped on stage as a teenager and throughout her six-decade-long career. A crew member here at Chicago told me she would still sometimes pop in to see a performance and support the next generation of artists. Anita's gonna get her kicks tonight. A triple threat, Cheetah Rivera danced, acted, and sang her way into our hearts as the original Anita in the 1957 Broadway musical West Side Story. Rivera made her Broadway debut in Guys and Dolls in 1950 and would go on to appear in 18 Broadway shows, including Bye Bye Birdie and the 1975 production of Chicago, in which she starred as Velma Kelly. Come on, babe, why don't we paint the tag? She blazed the trail for all the women you see on, on Broadway today. Rob Bowman, now the conductor for Chicago, worked with Rivera on Kiss of the Spider Woman in 1993, for which she received her second Tony Award. And her love and her joy and passion for what she does just went through all of us. Tuesday night, Chicago's current cast paid tribute to the musical's original star. Paving the way for women of color, I think that is... Uh, such a testament to who she was as a person and uh, the giant that she was not only in the industry but also pop culture in general. She was one of the early rebels and icons and feminists and really um, set the bar. Born Dolores Conchita Figueroa del Rivero in Washington, D.C., and raised by a single mother after her Puerto Rican father died, Rivera won a scholarship at a young age to study ballet in New York. In her memoir, Rivera wrote that she remains a dancer in her soul. She spoke to CBS Sunday Morning last year. I discover the rhythm, I discover the beat, I discover my heartbeat. At the age of 82, Rivera's final show was the 2015 Candor and Ebb musical, The Visit. Make each day your own. At the final performance, she had laryngitis and uh, against all odds, went on this remember this was a musical and and she went on and gave uh, quite literally one of the most brilliant performances i've ever seen tom curtie was the show's producer she was the first to arrive in the building and the last to leave and so everyone who got to work with her became a better artist a legend on the stage and screen i'm gonna get up i'm gonna get out i'm gonna get up get out and do it Rivera turned 91 last week and is survived by her daughter, Lisa Mordente. Throughout her life, Rivera received a Lifetime Achievement Tony, a Presidential Medal of Freedom, and was the first Hispanic woman to receive a Kennedy Center honor. We're live in the Theater District. Allie Bauman, CBS 2 News. Allie, thank you. Oscar winner and past Tony Award host Ariana DeBose is remembering Rivera tonight. She posted, I am heartbroken and yet ever inspired as she showed so many of us what was possible. Debbie Allen also paying tribute, writing, I will forever hear your laughter and hold that baton of power you tossed my way. Head to our website, cbsnewsnewyork.com. There you can find and read more about Cheetah Rivera's life. You can also watch Dana Tyler's 2005 interview with her when her show opened, Cheetah Rivera, The Dancer's Life.